Okay, hi. I decided to just skip ahead of episode three. I'm just really in, in, um into talking about misophonia at this moment, so I better just catch it while I'm in the mood to talk about it. Um, so in the other two episodes, the first one I gave a background of just a little short background of my history of misophonia and in the second I gave you details of why I remembered I have it and the triggers and then in this episode I just wanted to talk a little 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 bit about a trigger that came up a few months ago so that was actually um I guess the title was misophonia at the movies um there were three times I went to movie theater um I know one of the movies I saw was Jurassic World, and, um, the other two I don't know. Jurassic World, I know it got pretty loud with the noises, and even I was making noises by the end of the movie, like, you know, like, woo, like, all those type of noises, but at the beginning of that movie and two other movies as well, um, there was just this weird thought that, like, I don't know, I guess we got, like, me and my family got there earlier than we usually do, or something was different, because I don't remember being annoyed at the theater, but there's just these triggers, and so it was when people started eating, like, chips, like, like, nacho chips and popcorn and, like, drink noises, like, slurping and, like, crunching and the popcorn, like, crunching. It just it started to become unbearable and it's just it was so uncomfortable like the movie wouldn't start i even told my mom like i even told my mom if this lady does not stop crunching like i'm going to slam the popcorn out of her hand like my mom just laughs when i say that stuff but it's like deep down how i feel like it's hard like to describe it like It's something that, you know, I can deal with on a daily basis, but for some reason it just comes up at, like, well, I guess no time would be convenient, but it just comes up, like, stuff like the movies, like, where I'm like, okay, I just, I couldn't, I don't know, I didn't realize that was a trigger for me, and it it was just pretty sad, because everyone's there to enjoy a movie, it's actually a happy time. You know, I kind of like when there's a movie theater crowd because I want to hear them. Like, I want to hear them laughing or, like, even crying or just, like, I like the little random babies that will, like, say random stuff, like, when they don't have any idea, like, where they are at and stuff. Um, you know, I like that and it's just so ironic that I would let, like, popcorn, like, nachos, not intentionally, but, you know, my brain is, like, no, you're not gonna enjoy the sound without getting, like, hurt, so, um, I think when the movie started, they were loud enough, most times, um, but just, it's one of those things that now it's like, well, now I have to adjust to, I don't know when that's gonna pop up, like, I don't know when's the next, like, movie I'm gonna see, and, you know, kinda, what... I kind of am gonna expect the next time I go somewhere, but I mean it ended nicely. I just, um, this video I am curious if anyone else has triggers at the movie theaters because this is new to me, and if anyone else, um, has any advice for a more public place triggers because class and the movies are the most recent for me. And then also if anyone, of course, has any research or videos, please let me know. That would be awesome. If anyone has any theories, comments, they think I'm crazy, like, I am curious to know. Um, But yeah, this one is more just putting myself out there. The other two were just kind of like, I was more ranty. This is just kind of like, I'm like, (laughs) another problem, you know, like, I just thought about it, but. If anyone is out there, like, feel free to comment, but I just want to speak my mind, and yeah.